now at 5.30, dozens of family, friends, and former teammates gathering to remember a rising football star whose life was cut short. His mother saying an argument over a video game led her son to be shot to death. Local 10's Laren Livingston is live in Miami Gardens to show us how he's being remembered. Laren. Louie and Nicole and Nicole was just referencing those fran friends and family members and teammates. Well, earlier this afternoon, they took to that stage back there and they were just kind of expressing themselves and the fond memories that they have of this young man, 17 year old Joshua Ankrum. His family is still here. A lot of them gathering there under that tent. They have been here much of the afternoon and his aunt, I spoke with her earlier this afternoon. She says it takes a village and she has been overwhelmed by the village that has supported them and continues to support them, not just here this afternoon, but over the last couple of days. In the very park where he grew up playing football, those who knew and loved Joshua Ankrum gathered to celebrate a life full of promise. All I can say is thank you, just thank you. To see the community come together so quick, so fast for something so unexpected. He was special. Um, he was too special. Josh, just 17 years old with offers in hand to play on the college level, was shot last Tuesday at a Miami Gardens home after a reported fight over a video game. He was flown to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. Police arrested a 16 year old in connection with the shooting on aggravated manslaughter charges. Yeah, it's tragic. You know, at 17 years old, you have the world ahead of you. Brett Getz is with the seven on seven South Florida Express football team Josh played on. They helped organize today's vigil. They also helped set up the GoFundMe page, which is close to reaching its $10,000 goal. South Florida rapper Bill Capri, also known as Kodak Black, one of the hundreds who have donated. Good brother. Very hard player. He really loved the game. More like a more than a friend. He was like a brother than me. And it's sad that um, the streets have taken our kids from us like this. But we all we can do is pray, and it will get better. He's gonna be missed. He's gonna be missed. And you saw there those balloons being released. That was a part of today's vigil slash celebration of life. That's what they wanted this to be. There was lots of music. Even over here, you're seeing some food vendors there. We're told all that food was donated by a community organization and it's being sold and all those proceeds will also go to this family in their hour of need. And the family tells us funeral services have now been set for 11 o'clock this Saturday at Antioch Missionary Baptist Church here in Miami Gardens for Joshua Ankro. We're live here at Carroll City Park in Miami Gardens. Larry Livingston, Local 10 News. And it's so nice to see so many people coming together, so many people raising money. And it's, as you said, Larry, a celebration of life. Thank you, Larry.